Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Episode 516 of my One Piece watch through. And I believe this is the very end of the Summit War Saga. And I've been told that 516 is sort of the end of this sort of, I guess, time period. Not really time period, but we're going to have this two year time gap that was outlined in the last episode. So uh, that's kind of why I'm doing 516 as a standalone, because I'm guessing 517 and onwards is going to be not a new show, but a, a lot different. I don't know. I'm so very very excited to see how, how all this wraps up maybe what we tease it kind of feels like the end of a movie and we're getting kind of like amped for the sequel already but either way this feels like a big checkpoint a big uh mark in my one piece journey and man like i said in the last video if you didn't catch it i think the summit war saga has been just my favorite sort of overarching journey i guess as a smaller part of one piece in any media i've seen ever like it's just been in insane beginning to end sabo to impel down to marine forward to just everything we've been witnessing now incredible so i'm gonna stop glazing one piece too hard we're gonna hop into it if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub and let's get started a few days ago so what is luffy to do in these two years jimpy's leaving no my favorite fish man sorry hachan oh wow what the fact that he was a warlord but that he didn't give his life for anyone. Yeah, no, actually, Jinbei carried so hard, man. Jinbei is, is him. Jinbei is literally him. A true Nakama. Dog, yeah, he's a good ally to have, to say the least. It's been island two years. Oh, dude. Bye, Jay. Look at him right off. He's so elegant. He's so magnificent. I'm a Jinbei fanboy. Day one. Oh, here we go. The flowers on the screen. Twinge? Ha <laughs> Oh my. The training spot. Wait, what is the training spot? Is this an official one? Ruskaina. She knew right away, too, what he meant. Or did he already tell her? Ruskaina. Desert Island Northwest. Okay. 48 seasons a year? That's insane! This is where Luffy's gonna train? Oh, She's like, I'm right next door! Yeah! Her bagging up. Where's she going? <laughs> She's just shy. Oh my god, I love Boa. She's counting. My goodness. That's not even remotely what that means. Not even close. <laughs> he has to go through some rough training. Ooh, no distractions. Bro, she's pinching his nose. She's pinching who I believe to be the strongest character in the show right now's nose. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, how will you get stronger, Boa? Nah, she doesn't really need to, I'm gonna be honest. That's all she has to hear is that it's for Luffy. Oh, shoot. What a duo, man. Luffy training under Rayleigh is just was not on my bingo card. That is nuts. It's, it's kind of equivalent to Zoro training under Mihawk. <laughs> he has no idea what awaits him, does he? Oh, she gave him a little canteen. That's so sweet. Oh, my God. Why is it the only safe area? Carrot! I mean, what kind of beasts are on this island? What? What is it? Oh my gosh. That's how rough it is. There was a country here and it just collapsed because of nature. I mean, dog, 48 seasons a year is madness. Really, you couldn't have picked like a cozier spot. Now he has to he has to endure rough conditions. And Luffy is too, like, naive, or I guess he's pretty brave to be scared or anything. I mean, like, imagine Usopp on this island. God dang. Wait, he knows exactly 500? Must obtain this power. Does that have to do with hockey? Yeah. We le finally learned more about it. Finally more fleshed out. Rayleigh's gonna be like, I saw him coming. 
He's gonna flex hockey, watch. That everybody has. Oh. Does it have to be like awaken, like how Kobe's was during the war? Hmm. Is it missing? Until the very end, like as you die? Hmm. Uh, he doesn't have to do anything. Wait, what? Does the animal have hockey? Is that what just stopped him? Because he didn't even touch him. It was like in front. Two prominent types. Dog. It predicts movements. Observation hockey. Dude. <laughs> like his reflexes. Oh, invisible Dog! He's just flexing now. That's so sick. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's what mantra was? Oh my god. They just named it something else. Makes sense because they would like, yeah, they would like, South Korea would arm him in. They would like predict invisible armor. Okay. So observation hockey and armament hockey. My god. It's like a physical energy, I guess, that comes out. Oh, no, he said armor. Oh, yeah, okay. Jesus, yeah, offensive power. No. Oh, but he felt it because of the hockey. It affects Devil Fruit users. The only effective counter move. Oh, shoot. It's so, like you could hurt like crocodile, right? Logia. Oh, you could hit them solidly with hockey. Oh, my God. Oh, so everybody that has, yeah. Everybody that has hockey is just on a different level. That Luffy could become so insanely strong if he can use it correctly. Oh, they put hockey in the arrows. So they're regular arrows, they just transfer energy. Another kind. Okay, I'm taking notes. It's like a lesson. And we're getting right into it. I like it. What's the third? The prayer type. Oh, it's more of like the aura. The one that I thought hockey just was in general before. Yeah, he used this at the auction. Oh, wait. No, they said it was Conquerors. They said it in uh, Amazon Lily. And, and Luffy used like a form of it. He used it in Marine 4 too. I'm pretty sure. And they said it was a very rare one too. Like only like 1% of people can use it. But the fact that anybody can like use hockey energy just has to be awakened is pretty crazy. That's a big drop, I feel like. That one is very obviously the most powerful though. Like Shanks used it. Look at me on the money, baby. Holy. I remember my notes. Shanks has it. He has it, obviously. Can't train yourself to use it? Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Luffy, I'm way ahead of you, brother. Mm -hmm. He saw it happen at Marine 4, didn't he? I guess they all did, didn't they? Oh, wait. Was he there? No, he wasn't even there. How did Rayleigh know? Or can he just sense that he's awakened it? So he can choose when to use it, he just can't improve it. This has to improve his spirit. <laughs> he's like, let me just take a second to fanboy. He already did. Where else? Yeah, oh. Well, thanks. Garp. Oh, yeah, Isa did kind of have, yeah, I guess a form of it. Because like, she could hear people's, like, voices and stuff. So that, like, being able to hear and whatnot, is that part of observation hockey, too? I mean, two years is a long time, man. That's why he's the GOAT! Uh, that's why Rayleigh's the GOAT. Oh, my God, dude. Have any, uh, Luffy's gonna get so strong. I which one they prefer. Oh, okay. It's like uh, picking a skill tree. Oh, that animal lurking in the background is terrifying. I would figure. He sees potential in him, the way he looks at Luffy. He still sees Roger. I know it. Oh. What? 
It's daytime now. He's refining himself. He has to be good enough to wear the straw hat. Strong enough. Oh my god. It's time. It will wait for him. Feels good, man. Ugh. That soundtrack always just gets to me, man. Ugh. Thank you, Rayleigh. Son. He's gonna teach you manners, too. <laughs> Master Rayleigh. They're playing. Oh my gosh. It feels like such an enormous checkpoint, man. All right, what was that called again? The weather ball? Chopper's working on new medicines. <laughs> so what is Brooke actually gonna work on? New songs? Not the 40 degree lean? He better be able to do 40 degree lean or else what's the point of all of this? While Duval watches the uh, the ship. My God, <laughs> what is he even doing? The things that he could do. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Her little uh, temporary home. This is like a, a remix version, right? Like the electric guitar and everything. Oh my gosh. Hey, San Sabo. Oh, it's different! Oh my goodness, it's going to the new world! That's sick, man. It's the little things. And that is it. The end of the Summit War Saga. My goodness. And the training begins. Dog, I, I knew Luffy would get stronger over the course of these two years. But like this episode in particular, I'm like, my God, the things he could learn from Rayleigh in terms of improving and just using hockey energy. And the de details we got about how like specific he can be in terms of the two types. And then the third being just an improved spirit. I mean, I feel like that just comes alongside the others. And uh, Luffy already has a very just pure soul, pure spirit. So in that case, wouldn't his Conqueror's Hockey be a little bit easier to use in general? But man, I mean, they're all like, I, I, there's not even a single person, uh, at least a single straw hat where I'm like, oh yeah, they could get a little bit strong. I mean, maybe, maybe Brooke a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. But I think he didn't also get as much fleshing out or have as important of a place. He's also a harder character to kind of pin down in terms of uh, a strength, but he is like, what was the island called? Sword something? He uses a sword. But like dog Frankie at Vegapunk's lab, Chopper on this island with this gigantic library, all this medicine, Nami on a literal weather island in the sky. Like that couldn't have been more perfect. Usopp learning about these very specific seeds that he can use to become a sniper king. Zoro training under literal Mihawk, man. Like you can't ask for better. Kuma really pulled through, dog. Oh, and not to mention the, the sort of a uh, loose end with Kuma showing up on Sabaody and like, I don't know if he was going to talk to them. I don't know. There's been a lot of loose ends lately that and just like them showing people around the new world it's been really cool but guys that's been it for 516 i will see you next time to start whatever happens next i don't know where we're gonna check in on what we're gonna see what's gonna be different but either way i'm still enjoying the the hell out of one piece like i did from episode one that's been it for me though i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace